Hi guys, Blue Jacket 66 here again for another video. This time I'm going to talk about an uh, obscure set uh, called the 1953 Bowman Black and White Extension Set, uh, which is an extension set of the uh, uh, 1953 Bowman Black and White Set. As we all know, the 53 Bowman Color Set is, is really a classic, but later on that year, um, they put out an additional 64 cards, this time in black and white, which was a big downer. The 53 uh, black uh, color set is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. They're, at this point, they're competing with tops, and I, I don't know when they felt like they had to put out another late run, perhaps in the fall. Costs were so high in the, the uh, color set that they just decided to do a black and white set. It's a 64 uh, card set. It's uninspiring. It's got Casey Stengel in it. I think Bob Lemon, otherwise no big stars at all. Only 64 cards and it's, I, I own the set but I sold it. It's a, it's a dud. But that brings us to uh, this. The standard catalog of vintage baseball cards. And I'm sure you guys all own it. Uh, Anything you want to know about vintage cards is pretty much from 1980 back, every issue. Cotton cigarettes, Bowman, uh, R315s, Auto Milk, on and on and on. Higgs ice cream. It's, it's a must if you do not have this. And every classic vintage set is in it. Um, the Bowman, 1953 Bowman black and white set. Find that here. There it is. Okay. Cards are even in near mint, at least in this catalog, they're all 55 bucks or so. Nothing great. So it's 1978, and my father, who is my inspiration, I lost him six years ago, my best friend. Uh, and got me into collecting everything, coins, stamps, when I was very little, and eventually we got into baseball cards in the mid-70s, and he went full force with it. It was a blast back then in the 70s collecting baseball cards. But he got this idea in 1978 that, hey, the 1953 Bowman Black and White set uh, is a dud. No stars in it. So he thought, let's make an extension set of the 1953 Bowman Black and White. But this time we'll have all the stars in it that he would like to see. And we'll name it uh, Baseball Favorites. So it was a big process, a big deal. Uh, lawyers, rights to photographs, where are we going to get these photographs to write up, how we make these cards. People weren't reproducing cards then. These aren't reprints. These are... It's a brand new issue that we made back then. Um, most of the photographs we got out of sport magazines. Back when my dad was a kid in the, in the 40s and 50s, sport magazine just had gloriously beautiful color pictures. And kids back then, that's what they had on their wall. Uh, so over a year period, uh, we made this set. I, if you looked in your standard catalog, and you may have missed it, on page 31, well, down at the bottom of 31, here it is, 1953 Baseball Favorites, 1953 Bowman. Turn to the next page. Here it is. Our Whitey Ford card is pictured there. How many of you have a set of cards you made that's in the uh, standard catalog for vintage cards? I'm giving my dad 95% of the credit on this. Probably he deserves more. Let's see what it says about the 1979 Baseball Favorites 1953 Bowman set. This collector series was designed to represent an extension of the 64 card 1953 Bowman black and white set. Using the same design on its two and a half by three and three fourths format, 
fronts are black and white with photo with no uh, graphics backs are printed red and black offer career highlights stats by uh, graphical data etc etc nobody knows who made this my dad made it. kind of the first to know I think I've mentioned it to a few people maybe on a forum or so but uh, we made that set and delivered it in 1979 and never told a soul that we were making it um, the idea was is that we would make these sets of cards and we made thousands of these sets um, we have sheets and sheets and, and mantles and man boxes boxes and that we would send these out sets out a, a limited amount of sets to shows across the country and the, the show promoter would get these with the instructions hey why don't you just hand these out the show and we thought that we would uh, perhaps build a sensation with this uh, obscure set out of nowhere that nobody knows what it is and it's the 53 Bowman extension set. Well, uh, <laughs> it was so much fun making this set over a year and I will show it to you. Um, it was not made to make money or to fool people. There was no eBay then. Uh, I, don't, I don't think, my dad took control of it. I, we sent it out to shows there was a little bit of a buzz about it, but yeah, no, it didn't become this big mystery set, with high value set. I think in there, uh, in the standard catalog, it set goes for $30. I don't know where we, they get that um, because it's never been sold. I think you can, if you search, you can see them on fee, eBay. People are asking anywhere from $50 to $30. And, Never sold a, I've never sold a single one. I've got thousands, created the set. Can you imagine how many sets I have? No interest in selling them. Uh, I think perhaps maybe sometime, uh, if you guys email me, I'll, I'll at some point would send you out a set just with cost of shipping, but. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. Um, again, uh, it's in the standard catalog, and this is the first time it's being disclosed that this set was made by my father. We never let anybody know. It's his first time. Uh, the catalog doesn't know who made it. Nobody knows who made the set, but my dad did. And I contributed to a degree. Helped him with pictures, helped him writing some of the bios. So uh, gonna take a look at the cards uh, and just say. Okay, here is an uncut sheet. This is the way we got, uh, we got a lot of these sheets back from the printer because we just wanted some sheets. And of course all the cards were cut precisely just like if you would get Tom's cards. But you can see the uh, printer's marks here. We chose Hall of Famer. This is Monty Irvin, Early Win, Stan Musial, Ted Williams. Ernie Banks, Warren Spahn, Willie Mays. Not the greatest Willie Mays uh, picture, right? That's because, notice his cap, nothing on it. Willie's not a pleasant person, tough to get things uh, done. Kiner, Satchel Paige, Yogi Berra, Mickey Mantle. Always wish we kind of did Mantle a little different. It's kind of a washed out picture. Uh, but if you want to find it on eBay, he'll cost you a little bit of maybe 10 bucks. Um, Jackie Robinson, Eddie Matthews, Whitey Ford, Bob Feller, Robin Roberts. Cool, right? Here's the backs. And these back will show you. Here's the back of a 1953 Bowman. The black and whites are the same. This is a uh, color, but the backs are the same, and this is exactly the same. The card stock's the same. The only difference, and the only difference, is on Bowman's it says Baseball Collector Series. On ours it said, sorry about that, Claire, Baseball Favorites. The only other difference, Bowman's trademark right here, our trademark right here, B, 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 G, T, M. A big tongue in cheek that we did. It's from the Saturday Night Skit. Uh, baseball been very, very good to me. Otherwise, they're identical. 
So let's take a look at a bio. Here's Mantle. Let's see what we had to say. Mickey is walking in the shadow of Joe DiMaggio while playing center field for the Yankees. If he continues, as in 1952, with 23 homers while batting 311, he'll become a star too. He was named by Sporting News as one of the top three major league outfielders in 1952. Mickey is a switch hitter. He batted 345 in the 1952 World Series while hitting two home runs. And stats for the year. Here's Mays. And this was really fun and time consuming to do all the bios. We made them up. I made some up, look stuff up. Listen, I was 16. So again, I'm giving my dad 95% of the credit on this. Probably his favorite player, dad's favorite player, Ted Williams. So, and here too, you can see the uh, printer's marks where they would make the cuts. Let's look at the set. So what is this? So here's the set, Monty Irvin. Early win, Robin Roberts. They were cut beautifully and they look just like out of the package cards and they're good stock. These look ratty because, well, I just cut up a sheet of them just to show you. I didn't have any sets sitting around. They're all in my dad's basement, actually, at my mom's house. The William, or the uh, Mutual, Ernie Banks, again, licensing's problem, no, no his cap, no Chicago Cubs there. Same thing with Willie. Not the greatest photo. Don't know why dad chose that one, but he did. Barra. Mantle. Whitey Ford. Feller. And again, these pictures were, we just went through months and months looking through magazines and it was a big legal thing, it was a big hush-hush thing, and it was a big dad and son having a ball. I love that Satchel Page. If that Satchel Page was a really a true vintage baseball card, it'd be my best favorite Satchel Page card. Matter of fact, it is my favorite Satchel Page card. Pretty cool in-action Jackie, right? And the other. So, here is what's cool. So we made this set, and that was in 79. But here's what, anybody can have this set, but here's what I have that nobody else in the world will ever have. All autographed, in person. Mutual. Roberts. Wynn. Irvin. Mantle. Vera, Mays, Banks. Now, of course, the Jackie's not autographed. He died in 72. I don't know what Satchel's doing upside down. I need to fix that. Page. Williams, all autographed in person. Ford, Feller, Jackie Rutz, of course not. If that's not super cool, I don't know what is. What is cool, folks, I was with Dad when we got this one autographed, in person, Satchel Page in Kansas City, on his uh, front porch, drinking Falstaff beer. Uh, as you know, Satchel died in Kansas City, had a home in Kansas City. It wasn't on the greatest part of town, at least back then. But we got the arrangements, we drove over there, he's on the porch, he's very old, he's with his buddies. I'm 16, I don't remember much about it, but I remember Falstaff beer and I remember Satchel Page on the front porch signing that card right there. So, that's it. The 1953 Bowman extension set. Baseball favorites. 16 cards, extension of the 64 card, 53 Bowman black and white set. 
except these are all stars, these are all cooler, and these are made by my dad and myself. Happy Father's Day to everybody, all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day um, to my dad. Thank you.